folks. John in Thailand again, which makes me feel good. Yeah, I like it here. Over there, to the south, we've got uh, the community meeting place, uh, just near the Watt. The locals have been doing a lot of work at the Watt. It's directly behind the, the meeting place. Yeah, someone's working over there now. Uh, the community uh, contributes pretty much all the money that goes to the Watt, so basically the community have been involved in it. Uh, they've got new statues and things like that, Buddha statues. Yeah, they spend a lot of time over there doing things. This year, last year, probably every year. Yeah. So it's about 6.38 in the morning. I'm in the, one of our neighbour's uh, fields. I don't know if you can see it. The moon's still up. Uh, maybe not, not be able to see it on the video. But the sun's definitely on the way up. Just see it coming up there. If we we're uh, in an area where there weren't, weren't any trees, we'd be able to see it clearly. Some rice farmer's burning off his stubble this morning, so we're copping a bit of smoke here. Uh, this house is through there. Maybe 10 or 12 houses. But on the other side, there's this farmland. So I'm here with the dogs, wherever they are. Oh, there they are over there. Blackie and Junior. They like to to um, dig up mice. No rats out here, so mice are okay. Um, there might be rats further out. Um, maybe on the other side of that little clong there. It's about 30 metres away. But the dogs, the dogs have sort of... Enjoy rat and mice chasing, I suppose you call it, mice, mice hunting. The mice live in the cracks. You can see the cracks go down a fair way. That's a big screwdriver I've got there. So, uh, yeah, six inches, that crack. There's quite a few other cracks here that are pretty big, but the, the mice don't live in the ones that are open like that. They live in... Uh, they live in cracks where it's a bit harder to, you know, get at them. So here's Blackie at the moment, sniffing. He might find, uh, he might find some mice today. They don't always. It's easier when Junior's sniffing over here. Yep. She's looking. She's good. She's got a good nose. She can often smell things which aren't smellable by me or Blackie but the plong is just a creek there won't be much water in it at the moment ah, dry ass it's probably why they haven't grown corn here no water ah. oh well oh, the dogs are interested in what I'm doing now hello Hmm? You gonna go looking for mice or are you gonna come over here and play with me? No, mice went out. <laughs> yeah, so up the hill there, behind the, the meeting center and then behind the white, there's a uh, mango orchard. Then the hill sort of rises fairly suddenly where you can probably just make out the, the um, what do they call it in Thailand? It's a, like a rotunda, like a Buddhist rotunda thing. I can't remember the name. Names come and go in my head. But on the other side there, not far, maybe a few hundred metres from up there, um, there's a company who wants to open cut a gold mine, which is going to really change things here. Our, uh, our water supply will probably be affected because a lot of the runoff from the hills up there goes over into the dam, which is that direction. 
and uh, air quality will probably suffer. It's bad enough now with smoke and dust. It's dry as hell here. Um, you know, we're not in a full tropical zone. This is like a semi-tropical. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, update a little bit of information and uh, maybe the next video we'll, we'll do something else. Bye now.